Namaste, friends. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Special day for us today. It's Deva's uh, anniversary of uh, becoming a disciple of Osho. 39 years ago, she took sannyas, and uh, it's a very special day for us today. We're celebrating. And this is the first, uh, this is the first kirtan song that Deva heard, I think. Is that right? <laughs> In the ashram. <laughs> Gopala, Gopala, Deva Kinandana Gopala, 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 Deva Kinandana 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 Gopala, 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 Deva Kinandana Gopala, 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 Deva Kinandana Gopala, Deva Kinandana. years old <laughs> like on that picture that I posted That's today. so pretty so uh, and yeah. uh, and I was in an Osho center that was close to my hometown in, in Nuremberg in Germany and an Indian disciple of Osho came to visit that Osho center and he would lead the, the Sufi dance the circle dances and I just uh, see him there in the middle <laughs> And uh, and singing the Devakinanda Gopala, which is a very everybody knows it. It's like the Krishna anthem. <laughs> Just makes you happy singing it. And uh, that was my first um, exposure, actually, to Sufi dancing, to circle dancing, which we still do now. If you've been to one of our retreats, and also to to hear Kirtan, and because um, I th you know I was 11, so I hadn't really. Then in touch with Kirtan, more yeah, more mantra, you know, with Gayatri, but not the kind of more traditional Kirtan. So, and then, would you like to hear an another? Would you like we celebrate in our show today with <laughs> Deva? So, uh, if you, here's another song that we used to play back then in the ashram. Which would you like to hear? And actually, this week I'm going to um, be uh, recording a podcast with uh, um, with a Love Osho podcast team, and it's really a, a, a podcast that focuses on the stories of Osho disciples. And the tens done one last year, two years ago, and uh, there's beautiful stories there from people close to Osho or people whose lives were touched by Osho. And that will be a podcast that's really going to be focused on, you know, my, my journey, how I really actually got to Osho and, and what it was like 
growing up in Germany as an 11 year old going to school pretty much like me now in red red clothes orange maroon clothes with a mala around my neck with Osha's picture and uh, being the she wanted to do it I wanted to do nobody it nobody made her do it no, by the way I don't want you to think that anyone was making David do that no that's that's uh, absolutely my, cho my choice this is a song that if you have a guru f of your own or a, a teacher you will relate to this song I think it's a very beautiful song Nothing is seen, nothing is heard, and my heart starts dancing with the master. Nothing is seen. so nice the ashram song is so beautiful oh and then of course um <laughs> so sweet you're discussing my birthday and my age um <laughs> i'm never born never died oh that's too much like an okay. english poem okay. so anyway so here we are and uh did you see the amazing story that we posted of today I was um, sitting on the breakfast table and I look up at the at the nest that's still there of course nobody's in it now for two weeks but it's still there and the last few days we've been seeing the birds actually even flying the birds that have been most probably the ones that came yeah, out of yeah. there have been flying sometimes sitting on it for for just a moment or two and then today I look up at the <laughs> at the nest and I see a snake just looking into the nest like she's kind of mm -hmm. checking out or it is checking out whether <laughs> there's some food in there. Long, a long, long, long snake. Beautiful black and yellow uh, markings, yellow markings. Huh? Yes, yeah, so check out the stories if, you, if you're not afraid of, of like phobic of snakes. Um, we got a really beautiful little clip as she made. Or I 
it made, a, made its way down the tree. Luckily, the birds have gone for a long time, so she would. <laughs> yeah. In German, snakes are she, you know? That's why I keep saying she. <laughs> Hmm, what do I do? We start from meditation. Right, so yeah. So shall we begin, friends? It's nice to to feel us together again in this sacred space. Such a surprise for all of us that such a sacred space could exist in this way. But it does, and it just proves uh, some amazing uh, points which uh, are too numerous to talk about right now. But the fact that we're together is a miracle in this way. If uh, you've joined us for the first time, then uh, welcome to our global Gayatri Sangha. We are a collection of thousands of people that come together every day to chant the mantra arm and the Gayatri together and uh, this is the moment when our meditation begins so if this is your first time let me just uh, introduce you to the meditation Can I have the B first? Yeah. do the meditation with our eyes closed and uh, if possible with our back straight, our spines are straight because the spine is an e also an energetic portal and uh, there's an energetic experience that can, uh, can happen through the sit-in with our spine straight. So if you can, sit with your spine straight. It doesn't mean tense or serious. It means you can relax your shoulders, relax your neck, but just focus on keeping your back straight. Let's do that for a moment. Just closing our eyes, straightening our spine, and relaxing our shoulders, relaxing our neck. Let go of your neck. Relax your neck. That's good. And let go of any tension you have in your hands and your arms. You just relax your hands and your fingers now. That's a good way to relax. What we're doing, we are coming to slowly, we're slowing down our metabolism right now. That's what we're doing. So we're just slowly becoming relaxed in our bodies. If your mouth is closed, if you have your lips closed, open your mouth now and relax your mouth we hold a lot of tension here in our jaw so we relax in our jaw with the mantra on and uh, we are relaxing our throat just take a moment to relax your jaw and your throat maybe sound of ah is good and take a deep breath in there with our eyes closed a deep breath into the fifth chakra our chakra of communication in our jaw and preparing ourselves to chant with Deva the mantra on somebody asked me today or in one of the messages what's the difference between the seven chakra Gayatri and the uh, and the one we will chant now which is the one most of you know and uh, it's simply that the seven chakra Gayatri uh, activates the seven chakras in the body and actually addresses the seven chakras whereas the one that we know is a universal uh, chant so that's basically the difference but you don't need to know any more about that now just join us for the mantra arm and when we chant the mantra see if you can consciously always take a nice deep breath the breathing is so important. The breathing is as much in, as holds as much power as the sound itself. So we consciously breathe. We're like dolphins and whales right now. We're conscious breathers. 
we have to come up to the surface we have to know where the surface is and then we take the breath mm -hmm. and the surface is always at the end of the mantra so when the mantra um comes to the end of the breath there's your surface you take a breath and then you move back into the sa sacred sound of um into the ocean of sound and if you can breathe in rhythm with Deva and chant in rhythm with Deva that's going to bring us closer as a community across the world right now it's going to bring us closer together all of us and uh, this is a, a feeling of one breath and one heartbeat and one sound, one voice If you relax your shoulders, it means you can have a smile. So I want you to not be tense, relax. Mm. Yeah, that's a, a nice relaxed feeling. So there's a smile. We're together. This is as good as it gets these days. We're together. Let's give thanks for this moment. Hmm. And when you're ready, you can begin to chant with Deva. Take a deep breath and breathe out together. And a deep breath.
symbolic receiving of the light from the Gayatri. Just open in your arms and receive it. The gift that we have just given ourselves by chanting together. Eyes open, close your eyes for a moment. Just come home. You're in the sanctuary. You're safe here. In a safe space. Monkeys today, we have the thunder <laughs> and the lightning. Do you have lightning? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and the bird is that was in the nest is just flying around here. I think it's the same one. Yeah, it's the same. I'll try. <laughs> All coming together. <laughs> hmm. You know, uh, every day I wake up watching your vision unfolding. Every 
message that this flower that's growing, living in love every moment, every step. That you know, we uh, met in those as- ashram, Osho's ashram, Osho's ashram. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a long time ago, you guys, before you were even born, yeah. <laughs> and you know, we really feel like uh, he gave us a vision the way we could live together, and it turned out to be such a great vision. And I've made this song many years ago. And it just feels like a good time to sing it and, and give thanks to Deva and for existence for taking that moment to take this little German girl and uh, into the uh, ashram of a very controversial Indian mystic. And so uh, it's okay for old hippies like me, but uh, for Deva, she was a young, innocent little girl. and. Uh, it's given her the most uh, amazing life that we are all here together because of Deva. It's quite amazing. And she's here because of Osho. So thank you, Osho. Every day I, I wake up watching your vision unfolding. <laughs> Every day now I'm amazed. That this flower that's opening, we're living in love every moment, every step of the way. Oh, sure, through your grace, we're watching your vision unfold. feeling like when Ritan is singing, watching your vision unfolding, like what is Osho's vision, you know, what is actually, like in a nutshell, what is Osho's teaching, and um, and like these few sentences or lines come, like live in the moment, live as totally as possible, you know, follow your inner voice, there's not, the, and that's like your unique inner voice is is perfect and is is um, the only thing there is for you for us to follow is our own inner inner voice. There's nobody on the outside to follow. There's no set path that is good for everybody that is perfect for everybody. Actually, Osho is like a feels for me like a transparent, like a window, like a window 
to 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 that which is true for me you know like he doesn't color it or he doesn't he doesn't it's not like manipulate. He, yeah manipulate or it doesn't make a, a f painting or a photograph of it and then tells me but he's giving me the the clarity to see my path clearly and to f to have the courage to follow my my inner voice and, uh, and I, I think that's and and also his this his message always with joy with with celebration. Uh, celebration you know we can celebrate everything and that's like what like what we said with with Lisa with Shandas you know live in joy and and that's what it's such a it's not uh, it, you know this thing of joy is like oh it's not it doesn't mean all happy 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 joy there's it, it's a deep feeling of I know that many of you have felt deep pain and uh, the joy comes from that debt it comes from uh, uh, the acceptance of our uh, aloneness and the, the gift of our aloneness and so this joy that Dave is talking about is 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 from our root and it's not it's an understanding you know and, and somehow through our different paths we've manage to feel the depth of who we really are and that's why we're all meditating together because somehow we've been attracted to each other you know we've been attracted like magnets to each other and uh, it's got nothing to do with any particular spiritual path mm. we're all individuals here we're all lovers of love and joy <laughs> and also that joy is also a sense of not taking anything too seriously especially ourselves and that's such a good feeling to to have that little bit of distance from stuff from and from ourselves and, and uh, it's good to be crazy yeah, huh? yeah. good to yes. be crazy dance around your room for a little while <laughs> put bob marley on and uh <laughs> and have a little movement little dance together that would be nice to feel that we're all dancing all over the world now. Mm, yes. That would be really I nice. See you, dancing. you want to? <laughs> yes. Okay, later. <laughs> <laughs> so, Loka Samasta, may all beings be happy, may all beings feel free, and may all my thoughts, words, and actions contribute in some way to the happiness of all beings. Thank you so much. Sarala, we love you. James, we love you. <laughs>
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Purnamada, Purnamida, Purna. Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamiva Vashishyate Om Shanti Shanti, Shanti. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Wow. Big, big thunderclouds coming, and uh, the light has changed incredibly. Maybe so you can turn you around before we turn you off. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. We have some dark clouds coming. Careful. Can you hold this one? Mm. Maybe it doesn't look as dark, but it looks quite dark here. <laughs> it's amazing why it's not so dark. It's yeah, it's so fun. Thank you so much for another beautiful day. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go dancing now, aren't we? We're going dancing, mm -hmm. yeah. See you later. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste.